thicken. This is uh, something I do when I've got a book in this condition. This is a, a real old paperback. It's from World War II, actually. The Pocket Book of Science Fiction, edited by Donald A. Walheim. And you know it's a pocket book because it's got the, the kangaroo on it. Um, they're a little smaller than a regular book. I've got a similar uh, anthology right here, and you can see it's a little bit smaller. But um, when they're this old, they are basically unreadable because they are broken. You can see inside, this book is coming apart right at the seam there. And if you start reading it, you're going to lose a page, and if you're out and about, you are screwed. But this book is so old, and it's got some uh, really good stories in it. Microcosmic Gods in it. Moxon's Master by Ambrose Pierce. I want to read that. So, And uh, an H.G. Wells. This is early science fiction and some of the good stuff. And some of the contemporary stuff. I, Microcosmic God, I think, is 1942. So this is uh, like a year after it came out. But this book's no good. So what we have to do... I mean, it's it's lovely and everything, but it's really unreadable in this condition. So... We're going to make it an ebook, and the way to do that is to take it apart, scan it, and and sadly throw away what's left. But in murdering this book, we will have um, give it an afterlife; it'll live forever as an ebook. Um, I don't know what the copyright status of most of these are. I would suspect the Heinlein one is still um, copyrighted. Microcosmic God is a very good question as to whether that one's copyrighted. Um, Ambrose Bierce is okay. H.G. Wells is okay. Stanley Weinbaum's okay. So um, I'm not going to sell this book. It's just for my own personal use, and I can send it to a friend if uh, he or she needs a story that's hard to find. And more importantly, I can have it forever as a file, and I can look things up, including um, the very pretty cover that it has. So that's the idea, and I'll show you what it looks like after uh, I've taken it apart.